So in the early 80s, somebody would have been well pleased to have had one of these boxes arrive. Flip open the lid. Find this. And all the other little bits and bobs that came in there. Pulled open the polystyrene and found themselves a nice new pair of SL600s. And that is what is going to be the video today. It's going to be these versus those over there. I've just finished doing the ferrofluid on a pair of another pair of Kef RDM ones and they're playing away. So once I've unpacked all of these, we'll carry on with the review of the SL600 versus the SL600 SI. Okay guys, so I've got these out of the boxes. I'm not gonna run them for a little while because these are very cold. So I'm gonna let them acclimatize in the room just for a little while as where these are cold to the touch, but these are really cold. So I'm gonna let them warm up a little bit before I give them a run. So these are the SL600 SI. These were about 1989. These are the original SL600. I think these were about 1984. Um, there are some differences, obviously, the different colour. Celestian on these and the SL700 done away with the little caps that covered the grill holes um, for the wooden variant. So the wooden variants had a grill, neither of these had a grill. So as a quick bodge, Celestian just stuck a cap over the hole and later on they obviously remoulded the faceplate and done away with that. And I've always thought that looked a lot neater than these little plastic caps that sit in there. The badge is slightly different, obviously. This, this is plastic, actually, with just a sticker on it. That's actually an aluminium textured, quite nicely made badge. Um, the other differences are internal. So these are a bi-wireable crossover, these aren't. Apparently, these had some modifications done to the notch filter, which takes the ringing out of the um, copper tweeter. All of these crossovers on the SL6 and the SL600 were tuned by hand. So um, each single one <laughs> is sort of kind of matched to its components. These, I don't know if these were tuned by hand. I, I'm not sure. I've never taken these apart to have a look at the crossover. Um, but apparently the components have been upgraded and they've changed the sort of topography of the crossover slightly to uh, improve some of the earthing methods that apparently some people complained about. But what I'm really interested in is what is the sonic characteristics between the two. They're both quite rolled off, they've both got copper tweeters. But let's see if the supposed congested mid-range that these suffered from was rectified by the, the crossover working on the later one. I certainly really like these and I haven't heard a pair of SL600s for some months, to be honest with you. Mine have been unplugged and boxed up. So I'm gonna let them warm up a little bit and then we'll give them a run, all right? Okay, okay. about an hour has passed. Um, the central heating's been on at my missus's request and uh, that worked in my favour because it gave the speakers a bit more time to warm up. So I'm going to try the SL600s, the original ones first. You probably won't be able to detect it on the video but I'll give my comments on, on how I think there is, if any, difference at all after I've demoed both pairs. So let's give it a go with the Bullet soundtrack, uh, which I really, really like. A uh, nice sort of jazzy track. It's got plenty of nice mids from horns and, and there's some really good percussion going on there. So this will be a good test for these and then I'll switch to the other pair with the same track and I'll see if I think there's any difference. Thank you. 
Okay, same track, different speakers. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> that's quite interesting. Um, supposedly, the modifications were to decongest the mid range of the original SL600. Um, I think the SIs are just a little bit colder than the original ones. The original ones have a little bit of warmth to them that is quite nice. It's a little bit like the difference between solid state and valves. There's just a little bit of warmth to it, a little bit more tonality. Um, which is interesting because the Aerolan was supposed to be pretty sonically dead, but there is definitely a little bit more warmth in the mid-range. Um, as to what I prefer, that's really difficult. That's always a hard thing. On that particular track, I've got to say the original SL600s were probably slightly more enjoyable to listen to. Um, after this video is finished, I'll probably spend hours A, B in the difference between the two. There'll certainly be tracks, probably electronic music will probably sound a little bit better on the SIs. Um, but it's, it's interesting to do. Personally, I didn't really like any of the SI versions. So the SL6 aluminium tweeter dual material surround is my favorite of the wooden cabinet varieties. The SI has just too much hardness a little bit more detail perhaps that my ears don't enjoy as much as the SL6S and I was kind of thinking the SI 600s were going to be similar but they're not that copper tweeter that rolled off sound just doesn't give you that real hardness in the HF that the SL6 SI does so these are a closer comparison than the SL6 S to the SL6 SI but 600 to 600 SI too close to call I'm afraid on that track SL 600s but I could spend all day going between different tracks and probably coming up with different conclusions as whether they decongested the mid-range yeah probably um, but was that a bad thing on the original ones who knows sometimes these faults if you like like them being very rolled off is deemed a fault which is why the aluminium tweeter came into existence I actually quite like um, I'm a big fan of that more rolled off sound, especially if you like to play at higher volume levels. At higher volume levels, these never ever get harsh. At lower volumes, you do find you are missing a little bit of detail. 
so there's always a trade-off. Anyway, I've got tweeters to repair and other bits and bobs to get on with today, so I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, conclusion, inconclusive. That's where I'm going to leave it. Cheers guys, take care, and I'll see you next week.